Uh, first off, I feel almost like for those in relationships, um, you feel a little bit neglected by your partner. And um, in a way, you understand that your partner is, you know, uh, very, very busy. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's trying to get their life in order, who's trying to get their career in order, who is possibly learning new things, um, working also in a very, very public environment. They're, they have a lot of new procedures, new um new knowledge that they need to grasp or they need to memorize really, really quickly. So I see somebody who is um, um, studying, who is doing presentations, who is also like um, reading a lot, like reading, trying to memorize, trying to learn things, trying to rehearse. So in a way, they're, they're just very, very busy and you're aware of that and you're giving them their space to do whatever they need to focus on to get their career on track and to get, you know, their, um, their public image on track. But at the same time, um, your energy is the aid of, um, cups here. And this is sort of like, it's, it's a little bit of a heartbreak type of a uh, situation, feeling a little bit dejected, like we can't really bounce ideas off another person and that they're not either physically available or emotionally available to you at this time. And your partner shows up here as the Eight of Pentacles. So the energy is very, um, you know, it, it's like the ebb and flow. Both of these are eight. So both people are focusing heavily on on career, on trying to establish, you know, their financial abundance. And it seems like you're okay, you're very stable, but that your partner, they're at a different point in their life where they're trying to build, they're trying to create more for themselves, and they're trying to as well uh, enhance their professional image. And they might have a lot of people that are coming to them that are reliant on them. So they're trying to enhance their skills so that they can be more presentable, um, so that they can enhance their credibility at work. And as a result of that, I feel like you're waiting on pins and needles here. I have here the nine of swords, waiting on pins and needles, waiting for, you know, time where your partner is going to notice you, waiting for responses and communication and feedback as well. So I feel like you might have a partner if they're doing presentations or if they're doing something where there, um, there are a lot of people that they're going to have to speak to, they're going to um, either, you know, study with you or rehearse with you. And I feel like the communication between you and them, it's very detached. It's very... Um, systematic, like it's very work focused, it's very, um, you know, logistically focused. So it's like, did you put the kids to bed? Did you bathe them? Did you feed them this? Did, you know, so-and-so take his or her medicine? Did you feed the dogs? You know, like it's just a lot of housekeeping things that I'm feeling. At the center of the spread, we do have here the 10 of cups, okay? So I feel like no matter what's happening this week, the basis and the foundation uh, indicates to me there is definitely a stable relationship, like feelings are, are being reciprocated from both ends. And in particular, if you're dealing with an earth sign, so another earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, the way they are depicted in this um, spread is you're dealing with someone who might be a little bit of a workaholic, and you're dealing with someone who has a lot of things that they're managing. So they might be, you know, um, a manager, they might be a supervisor, they have a lot of people that are dependent on them to do the work. And then as a result of that, I feel like, you know, they might be a little bit MIA this week. So if you're dealing with them, I feel like you're already in a relationship with them with the 10 of cups here, which means you live together, you have children together, you have joint resources. And there's a very happy, stable home unit. It's just this week, they're a little bit MIA because of responsibilities from their end. Okay. And then for others of you who are dealing with an air sign, I have here the Prince of Swords. This is somebody coming in fast, coming in swift, and there is going to be a lot of communication. So if you've been longing for, you know, contact and, and sort of like explanation, like, why did you leave me waiting? Uh, I'm just here, you know, waiting for you to call, waiting for your text messages. Um, communication might be, um, it's, it's almost like they're rushing around. 
and they might not have received the text message, they might not have received the phone call, they might not have received the email, but they're going to be coming in either way. So even if they haven't received anything from you, I feel like they're coming to your rescue or they're coming to kind of like tell you why didn't you contact me so i feel that energy where there might be missed messages or like you know things get crossed in the communication sector and they're coming in to try to rectify the situation so air signs aquarius gemini and libra and then the earth sign which you're already in a relationship with and that is another capricorn a virgo or a taurus and so let this energy sort of play itself out. It's a very short, uh, transient type of an energy I'm picking up. But the heart of the matter is, you know, with the Ten of Cups, you're already established. You, you might even be dating new people or if somebody that you're interested in. Feelings are definitely reciprocated, but it seems like one person's very, very busy. And then I also feel communication um, that might not, you know, things that were sent but were not received. So don't think worst case scenario, okay? Let the energy play out. You guys are not impulsive, but I do feel like you're going to want that emotional support, that emotional anchor. You want um, you, you want to feel needed and wanted and supported. And it might not be until the end of the week where you're getting the, the feedback, where you're getting, you know, that sense of reciprocity from the partner or from the love interest, okay? Um, the other thing I'm seeing here um, is I, I feel like there is the potential to kind of stray elsewhere look outside the relationship for validation so for example if you're feeling a little bit left out in the cold if you're feeling a little bit neglected you can find other means and other ways for you to um kind of like feel emotionally nourished without stepping out on the relationship and i also feel the danger of you um you know, wanting to make that emotional connection and deferring to somebody like a third party outside of the relationship where I don't see so much that it's a, um, it's a, an affair, like a third party interfering or, you know, um, leaning on somebody outside of a third party. But I feel like reverting to or resorting to, uh, other ways of finding emotional, you know, um, support through somebody that you know has feelings for you and so it's it's like the beginning of an emotional affair and that's something you want to be careful about okay um other messages that i'm picking up and i feel like this is a good week for you overall to kind of um you know i, I see a lot of people getting uh, in better shape, trying to be a lot more active, trying to kind of dissipate this energy. If you're like not really connecting with your partner, then you can find other ways to distract yourself. So I see a lot of that. Distracting yourself when it comes to work, distracting yourself at the gym, doing other things, aerobics or group exercises and things like that in order to branch out, in order to meet people as well as sporting events, okay? And I'm getting that mainly with this... Um, this Queen of Wands energy, she doesn't sit around and wait for people. She goes out and, you know, she makes the best of her situation. And the Strength card usually indicates to me health. It usually indicates, like, taking care of our health, being a little bit more proactive about, you know, staying in shape and uh, taking care of ourselves, getting our hair cut, getting our, our nails done, um, you know, getting a new wardrobe. So I, I see a lot of you... Um, instead of waiting, you're going through other avenues to try to, you know, have fun and to branch out and, and things like that. Possibly even meeting with friends, drinking, socializing, uh, friends, family member is what I'm sensing as well. Socializing, drinking, and um, even having opportunities for you to network, okay, so that you're kind of like... Um, not waiting around for other people to make contact, but socializing and things like that, okay? Um, at the end of the, the week, I do have here the Seven of Swords. And this is an energy that you want to be a little bit careful about. This is sort of like, um, you know, where did you go? Who were you with? And, um, uh, you know, somebody questioning you. And I don't see so much that it's a romantic partner, but I do feel like um, some type of sneaky behavior, possibly in the family environment or in the work environment, where somebody is not very um, clear and, and not being candid about, you know, what they've been up to and who they're with. 
So there's that element as well, possibly hanging out with the wrong people or hanging out with people that you don't normally like just because you don't want to be alone or just because, you know, you happen to run into them at a social event or a social function. And I do feel some of you um, catching wind of somebody who's already in a relationship and they're stepping out on the relationship partner, they run into you, and it gets really awkward, okay? So that's something you're going to encounter for this week. It's like, hey, I thought so-and-so was in a relationship. Why is he or she, you know, at this bar acting like they're single? Um, so like gossip and, you know, um, things like that. So just be careful about that. And I also see elements of somebody who's already in another relationship. You're out socializing and having fun. This is a really fun week, actually. And, um, they make a move on you. So be careful about that. All right. Um, just, just, you know, if you start out this week and that tends to happen to you, I feel like you want to have a response ready and you want to, not so much just say, oh, uh, thank you, but no thank you. But, you know, really call them out on it so that they're aware, okay? You can say, aren't you seeing so-and-so? That way they kind of, they, they, they know that you know and they don't try to overstep their boundaries with you, okay? So I see that element coming in. I also feel as well, um, there are housing social functions that you're going to where you're bringing gifts, you're bringing food. Like I feel like a potluck type of energy. You're possibly creating something, making something to bring to a group gathering as well. So overall, I feel like it is going to be a very, very fun week. And I feel like it's, um, there's a lot of things happening. So, you know, um, relationship isn't heavily emphasized. Uh, but more so the social circle. And whenever we expand our energy out to a lot of people, we can also, you know, run into a lot of problems, hear a lot of gossip as well. But, you know, as an earth sign, I feel like whatever, you absorb everything, but nothing escapes your lips. So you're very close-lipped and you're very proper when it comes to dealing with people's messiness, okay? That's just something to keep an eye out for. Have a response ready if you someone is coming at you and they're already in another relationship, okay? Um, not to worry, Capricorn. I feel like it's still going to be a fun week. There are a lot of social events on the work front, on the friendship front as well. So you're not really going to, you know, be bored, okay?